It is day three of Cancun. It feels like it's going by so fast. We kind of did a lot the first day, but it was just a little travel lazy day. Yesterday was a very long day and I got sunburn on my ears. It is 10 o'clock. We told ourselves we were gonna wake up early today, but we ended up falling asleep almost at one in the morning. I don't know where time went because we were literally so exhausted yesterday after the longest day on the island, but. We're gonna go eat because we haven't ate anything yet and see where the day takes us. We're not really sure what we're gonna do today. Let's skedaddle. I think I put too much. Definitely put too much. Sorry vlog, I have not kept you updated. We were just in the beach pretty much. It's only three o'clock, so we still have a long way to go, but we're starving. I present to you chicken nuggets with fries, tacos, club sandwich, and a cheesecake. We got some room service right now. Gonna have some Coke. First things first, these smell amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little dry but good. That is a beautiful club sandwich and you're gonna enjoy it. I was gonna show you guys the cheesecake, but we finished <laughs> it in like five seconds and now we have our face masks on. You can still see my sunburn through it and my ears are still red. Hopefully this will help it a little bit and yeah we're just gonna chill watch some outer banks until we're done to take this off i am awake and up from my nap i did a light makeup look this is what it looks like i took a picture love it um all i did was some concealer a little bit of contour and blush and that is all now we're gonna go out and try to take some pictures it's 5.40, the sun sets officially at closer to 7, so we have about an hour. Let's see if we can do it, because it's pretty windy. It's 20 miles per hour wind right now. When trying to take pictures and the wind is that crazy, it kind of gets a little frustrating. We'll see how it turns out. This is what we're working with. Pictures. We honestly have never been to this side of the hotel. I forgot what it was going for a second. We're like the pool in the ocean is that way past those doors. And I think this is more towards like the tennis courts and like they have a whole gar golf situation. But it's not windy on this side at all. Like you can't even see the trees really moving. The sun is setting beautifully on this side. Uh, that's like where the lagoon is, more on the other side of the street. But you look beautiful. I'll show her little pictures right here that we took. This was my first ever vlogging camera that is so fucked up. Like the little screws came out so long ago. Fucked up right here. Sometimes the battery doesn't work. It only works when it wants to work. But we're gonna try and get some more pictures before the sun really sets just so that we <laughs> could get some good ones. What we do to get a good Instagram picture. We have our coffee, second coffee of the day, but right now it's ice. We finally got an ice because I wasn't sure if it was going to come out too watery or not. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is so good. I've been addicted to marshmallow flavored coffees and the cream on this. I don't even know how I did it so far. Yeah, it's really delicious. And it took like two seconds. Literally two seconds. But we honestly haven't been drinking as much as we should take advantage of. We've just been taking advantage of all the free coffees. <laughs> I would like the wind to be a little toned down, but I guess not everything's gonna go my way all the time. But it is perfect. Yeah, it is still beautiful, amazing weather. We've been having such an amazing time, and even if we don't do like so many things back to back, it still feels like we do so much. 
so. Yeah. And we've been waking up early. Seven o'clock now, so we have two hours till dinner. Yeah, that, this is exactly where we're going to dinner, right? We're like in the middle of like the lobby, but it's very secluded. Uh, also, the only looks I've been getting is from the, the visitors. The visitor, like everyone in the hotel. That's the only stairs that I feel like I've been getting. It's not like bad, like they're not giving me dirty looks. It's just like they're confused. It's like uncomfortable though to yeah. have someone uh, yeah, it is uncomfortable for me, but they're, I feel like they're like a little, not uncomfy, they're just, yeah, confused. I don't really know how to put my finger on it. It's not bad, but it's not good. At least it's but not But you bad. know what's interesting though? It's like not a single person who works here has like, got, gave me any sort of attitude. Any yeah. Sort of, I don't know if it's just that they have like hospitality down to a T, mm -hmm. but they don't do that like awkward stutter thing. Like, yeah. Like they they, do, they're not, they don't look uncomfortable or like trying to gather their words, trying to talk to me. Like I feel like happens a lot in the United mm -hmm. States. Also, I do go by she, her pronoun, but just in case for you guys don't know like if they're going to be uncomfortable or what they're going to say. Every single person that has worked here has been great. Yeah. We also came last year in January and the same thing, I still had like my short hair and everything. Yeah. And that time we were unsure because we came with her family. And yeah. Having her parents there made a difference, but being back it's just us, no yeah. way. It's the exact same thing. Right. I was, I was more nervous, not even to come to Mexico for the first time by myself, well, without my parents, but it's been really great. So definitely recommend for all the LGBTQs out there. <laughs> I totally forgot to bring my vlogging camera, but we're at dinner now. Uh, I have no idea where to check in, but here we are. I think we have to go over here. So, <laughs> cheese, strong stars. This is our dessert. Um, I totally forgot to update you guys because it was a little, <coughs> it was a little packed when we got here. And then we've just been chatting for the first time. We usually don't chat when we eat because we're with each other all the time. Then the food got here so fast, and then I'll put some pictures though. It was so unbelievably good. I got shrimp ceviche to start. I got a roll. She got a black tuna roll. Mine was just perfect amount of everything, but like the salt on top, I don't know what it was. It was just. I'm just gonna say, sorry if I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy. You tipsy? No, not like mentally, uh -huh. but bodily. <laughs> bodily tipsy. <laughs> and then we have the most delicious dessert. As you can tell, we scraped it off. I have dropped some and I even scraped it off the table. Was, everything was so good. We had, this is our second margarita. No salt. I feel like the salt is just like really dehydrating us. So, cheers. But, um, yeah, sorry, I forgot, I totally forgot to film, but here we are. <laughs> okay, we came back inside so quick to just touch up our uh, very light makeup. Um, and then we're gonna go back out and get. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go back out and have some drinks. I'll record on my phone though because I'm too nervous to bring this big old camera with me. Um, but let's see where the night takes us. I don't think we're gonna be out too late because I am kinda tired already. It's 11.15, oh my god, okay. I'll give us an hour. It's, we only have basically two nights left so we should have some fun. I've been wanting to just wake up early, but tomorrow's gonna be kind of the same weather as it was today, so it's okay if we don't wake up early, I guess. <sighs> but let's go out and have some fun. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the vibes in there, uh, we just weren't feeling it, so now we're, we're exploring the hotel. We have not been around the hotel uh, as many times as we've been here and we're gonna just look for somewhere to make some TikToks because we just weren't feeling the vibes. It was not there. Do you think my muscles look hard enough or should I work out more? To be honest, they were a work of art, but there was no way I'd tell him that. 
I think you should get a life, sir. He just grinned at me and laid down on his back. He then asked me to hold down his feet and started doing crunches. I held my breath when I realized how close our lips were when he sat up. He was definitely doing this on purpose. Excuse me, but are you flirting with me? Am I that obvious? If you think you can add me to your list of girlfriends, you're mistaken. You're really amusing. Too bad you lost those chubby cheeks. I can't call you butt face anymore. Should I call you sweet face now? Wow, that is so cringy. What school did you go to? Wattpad High? He just chuckled and reached for my cheeks to pinch them. You're so cute, especially when you blush. It's a blush of hatred. Anyway, I still have a mountain of laundry to do, so bye. Okay, so we just got noon service breakfast. I'm recording for Tati because she's taking too long to get ready and I'm hungry. So we got pineapple juice, apple juice, chia pudding, toast. <laughs> and then we both got chili kit with chicken. Okay, bye. It is another windy day. A little bit, it looks a little bit windier than yesterday actually there's some pretty big waves out there um we're gonna try though and see if anyone's out in the water and this, try not to get swept away i guess but if that doesn't work out then i guess we're just gonna hang out by the pool today for a little bit just try to get some more time in the sun tomorrow is our last day yeah we will be in the water for a couple hours it is our second to last night it's our second to last night <gasps> It is 7 o'clock. We have reservations at this Italian restaurant in um, 30 minutes. Here's my fit. Let me see. Yeah. Beautiful. Sure. It's a little long, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but linen pants, white shoes. Keeping it simple, but the real goddess is right here. I don't know my toes. No, no, no. I see, I see. <gasps> Let's take you along. Let me not forget the camera today. Actually, I think I lied. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera. Just my phone. <laughs> I forgot to update. We had our starters. I had calamari. She had carpaccio. This is our chicken, risotto, and some carbonara. <laughs> it feels so far away. I want some. It's delicious. This is really uh, juicy. I obviously have had Mexican tequila before, tequila from Mexico in Mexico before, but these margaritas that we've had lately have just been a different experience. We, um, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Go on, break, stay, break. Um, I'll finish my thought when I'm editing this. I'm now editing, and I had no idea why I thought I was going to be able to finish my sentence editing when I couldn't even finish it in the moment. Uh, yeah, I had no idea what I was going to say. Of course, we got to uh, We only had I'm two. recording this so wrong. We only had two drinks. Sorry, she's we're drunk off of two drinks, it's <laughs> insane. Um, but we're gonna go to the restroom right now and maybe it'll be a little quieter. Bye bye. Oh, sorry. We had, I got my second, third coffee? I'm second, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It is now the morning of our last day. A little sad, but it's been very fun. It went by a little too fast, but let's go get ready and try and enjoy this perfect last day. So I did do my hair a little bit. What I've been loving about my haircut is usually my hair is all over the place, but it actually hasn't been moving a lot since I got my most recent one. Maybe it's just the 
humidity here. I don't really know. I've been loving my hair in the morning. I brought my hat and in case I had a bad hair day one day. It's been great. Right now, right when we wake up in the morning, I don't really do much with my skincare just because we're gonna probably be in the water. It's gonna come off anyway and we just need to reapply sunscreen. I do need to wash my face. A couple of little blemishes right here. This one was a big one that hurt so bad, Alex popped. But I put a little of my star face uh, stars on it last night and the rest of it came out, so that's good. So for sunscreen, we're gonna go on with this brand. I used to have their face wash, uh, like exfoliate scrub, and I really love this brand. And I stole this from my little sister when I went to her. And I went to California for a bit. I love it. It's just a little tacky if you apply too much, but I kind of like that. So we're gonna mix this with the Drunk Elephant Bronzer Sunshine Drops. This has lasted me so long and Alex uses it as well. So I'm very surprised that this little bottle has lasted us a really, really long time. I don't remember when we got it, but it's been a long time. But when you're applying it and it doesn't feel tacky, it comes on really smooth. Now that it's like drying up a little bit, you can start to feel it. But it can still move it around. You just gotta be a little fast. I like to put more on my nose, and yesterday I put some more, now that it's like feeling a little tacky. It kind of looks like <laughs> glue when I put a little extra, so I'm going to try my other sunscreen. I also really love this one. It's the Bare Mineral Sunscreen. The tiniest bit white casting, I feel like it looks a little bit more on camera. Yeah, just got to protect your skin. And that has been my morning routine, just some sunscreen and some <laughs> tinted drops. I do get ready at like 4 p.m. again once we're done with the water, we shower, we wash our face, and then we get ready all over again at that time. And I've been using some new products that I got in California with my sister that I've been really loving. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. I'm ready. I'm hungry. It's like 9 in the morning. So let's go get some breakfast and start our last day. Now that I'm getting ready, I also posted this on my Instagram story, but in case you missed it, this has been the bikini top that I've been using. And, and when I first bought it in the store, I wasn't sure I was gonna love it, but I am so in love with it. And it was only $7. I got it from Primark. Primark is like, apparently only in Europe. There's one in Chicago, and I'm not sure where else, probably New York, I'm assuming. But a lot of you guys were shocked that there's Primark here in the States. But yeah, that's where I got it. I got it in store. I tried finding it online, but there was only like a blue and white striped one that I could find online. I also got this one from J. Crew that was really expensive. I think it was 40, it was originally 65 I think, but I got it on sale for 40 something. Very pricey, and I don't love it as much. I love this $7 one more, and even though it's white, for $7, um, my nipples, you can't see them through. <laughs> At least I hope not, but Alex kept uh, telling me that you can't. Anyways, yeah, this material is more like a shiny material, and this is like a ribbed, and I always liked ribbed ones more than the shiny because then I also feel like that adds a little bit of a feminine touch to it and I don't like it. As for my shorts, <laughs> um, I always get them from Abercrombie. I've got a couple from Zara and they're alright but their quality goes down after you wash them or you wear them pretty much. But these, these are the newer ones. They have this and I like this a lot. But these I've had, I feel like a little bit after high school, so maybe like 2018. They literally are still the same as these new ones that I recently bought last year, and then these I bought this year. Abercrombie for board shorts. Uh, usually it's hard for me to find shorts that fit me right because they're a little too long or a little too big on the waistline. These I get them. I get them in a small. So yeah. That is where I get my bathing suits from. I'm gonna try this summer to find more brands for tops. So stay tuned for that because I know it's really tricky to find ones that you like. I had a very hard time trying to find one before this trip especially because in Chicago it's still snowing. So, But I found one so I know there's gonna be a lot more out there. I completely forgot that yesterday after our dinner, 
there was um, obviously the show going on, but there was also little booths of a lot of people selling things. <laughs> I, I forgot I bought these little bota tequila shots. Alex and I have this thing where we get shot glasses wherever we go, or try to at least. And what better shot glasses than these? So. I'm gonna voice over this if it's too windy because I definitely think it's a little too windy. I don't even know where the mic is. Okay, I absolutely needed to voice over this part because you could not hear a single word I was saying because of the wind. But basically, the morning of our last day here, we found out that we have a reserve-only breakfast little spot in front of the ocean. And yeah, we were just a little bit upset that we didn't know about it sooner because it was literally right in front of where our room was at. But it's okay because at least we got to enjoy it for the last day. We got the chilaquiles. They look extra crispy, extra good. She got the we had to come up to the room really quick because I forgot the bag with the sunscreen in it. But we were walking. When you pass by the people that work here, you obviously say like, Hola, hello. <laughs> and we said <clears throat> hello to one of them. And he said, hola. And then he looks at Alex and goes, wow. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing because I was just so shocked that he actually like said that out loud. Confidence boost for Alex, so that's all good. That that just happened right now. But now we're gonna go to the beach, try and um, go into the water, come back a little earlier, get ready, take some more pictures, explore a little around, and yeah, see what there is to do on our last day. Okay, I filmed a little get ready with me. Get ready with me in Cancun. First, I'm gonna do my hair and let it air dry. I'm gonna spray some wave spray into my hair. I'm also going to use the slightest bit of surf paste. This is the type of comb that I use. Before I get into makeup, I'm going to do my skincare. The salt water really dried out my skin, so let's get into that. I'm first going to start off with some serum. While I wait for that to seep into my skin, I'm going to go in with some Pro Collagen Eye Cream and then some moisturizer so we can really be hydrated. I'm now going to go in with Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops and then with a little bit of concealer. Next I'm gonna use the NARS bronzing cream and just kind of slowly tap it into my face. Now I'm just gonna use the Makeup by Mario Cream Blush and top that off with the Ilia Highlighting Powder in Starstruck. Then really quickly just use some brow gel. And last I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and use some waterproof mascara. I'm gonna finish drying my hair on a very light setting. And finally holding it into place with this wax hairspray. And this is it, this is my makeup routine in Cancun. 4.40, I'm trying to look for uh, some places to take some pictures, cause my baby looks so hot like Kim Kardashian and her dress and booty cheeks. Um, and yeah, this is my fit. Abercrombie shirt, white tank, some trousers from Uniqlo, and some Air Forces. I said goodnight to our last night. Sadness, but it was a good night. We ended the night with a really good I just choked on my spit. We ended the night with a really good dinner. Here's the pictures um, that I took. I didn't vlog in there because there was a, <laughs> a little DJ and I was scared I was going to get copyrighted. And then we went to a silent disco. <laughs> We're at a silent party. Everyone just listening to their own uh, we were only there for like 10 minutes because it was just Alex and I. We have no friends here, so we we're kind of just dancing to ourselves with headphones on. But it was fun, and we're all packed up and ready to go. We have to wake up early anyways, but we were on that way. Wake up extra early at around the 6.30 before sunrise so that we could catch it for the last night. Have a good breakfast and just like have a chill morning so we're not so stressed out running everywhere. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. And we are up. Not as early as I like, but I'd like to be, but I 
good. Just I just didn't want to wake up. It is around 8:20. We got up around like 7:40. Got ready super fast. Made sure everything was put away. And now we're gonna go eat some breakfast. This is what we're looking at. Beautiful day, and I don't want to go home.